This is the most Raiders y pick you could. It has to be. It has to Josh be. Josh Jacobs. It is. It is Josh Jacobs. <laughs> Perfect timing, Jack, on the question. We had a question would we take a running back? It was a unanimous no. And then the Raiders heard that and said, Marshawn. Well, zig while you zag. Marshawn Lynch is out. Josh and Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is, is the in. PFF prop bets on the uh, on the article are now three and zero. Under twenty four and a half, I believe, was the number. And it was sharp. And uh, that, that's all right. Now let's emphasize one thing. Nobody's saying anything that Josh Jacobs isn't a good player. Exactly. No, all running backs are good players. He's the number one back on our board. Yeah, he yeah. is the number one back that we have, and he can catch the football. He can block. He's strong enough. He's got power. He's all those things. It's the replaceability factor yes. that from our, from your guys, you two are mathematicians. And from a mathematical standpoint and a replacement standpoint, running back is the easiest position to replace. Yeah. Am it I says, saying that right? It's yeah. dead on and it says nothing about the player themselves, how good they are at doing what they do. It's simply that even when a running back, a Saquon Barkley, does a tremendous job as he did last year, it's just hard to move the needle because of what the running back position does. They catch passes behind the line of scrimmage. Right. They, they they run the ball backwards to hand it off to the running back, the, right, when your goal is to yeah. go forward. So it's just the things that the running back position is asked to do don't generate a ton of the, value. The choice to take a running back now means that at a different position, you have to, you're foregoing the choice to take another position and opting to do it in the sixth round. And a sixth round tackle compared to a first round tackle so much worse than a sixth round running back versus a first round. And, and we're talking about a team that has a ton of desperate needs, needs at cornerback, right? Yep. And and they have needs that is many the number, other than quarterback. The math says that cornerback is the number two positional need in the NFL. That's the biggest war wins against replacement above replacement right you, you, on the chart you establish the pass and you stop the pass and the best way to do that are with cornerbacks and people that cover uh quarterbacks and people that cover on the back end but i do want to talk about josh jacobs here because he deserves his first round respect. pick here. He, he deserves respect he is he's a, a good football yeah, he is a phenomenal player regardless of the position so what are the things that josh jacobs did that made him the number one guy. Yeah, so the biggest thing that separates him from a lot of other backs in this class is he can run legitimate receiving receiver routes. You can split him out wide. They did at times at Alabama. He had a play against Auburn where he's looking over one shoulder and turns back over the other and catches it over his shoulder. A play that, I mean, you count the number of running backs. Even in the NFL, probably on two hands, there's, not, there's only a handful that can make that play. He has legitimate you know, sort of receiving weapon ability. So he's he can be a Le'Veon Bell in that regard and that there's versatility. Now, again, you have to use him in that regard to get the most out of it. They just showed it there, the clip that I was talking about. He has you know, those sort of skills, runs extremely hard, not the best athlete in the world, not going to blow you away with a straight line speed, but he's going to run, the, turn the ball between the tackles, give you some receiving ability. So if you have a plan to use him dynamically in that regard, well, he will, he will provide more value than any of the other running backs in this class, in our opinion. And, and 